second kanina man pa, face. Na, kanina pa merong Mipo ba yung oh, Voyager? Oh, oh, Meron Voyager. bang Mipo user sa HTC? Or... Siguro. Ah, Siguro. Sino, 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 sino Mipo or, user nyo? Or iwas ka lang sa ma, na ma-cheese pick. Oh, oh, Pero ang so. nasasurpresa ako, hindi nila pinipili. Kasi yung mga popular carry ngayon sa meta natin is you usually go for a monkey king uh-huh. na alam natin na yun yung uh, malakas sa meta natin. Especially, pagdating sa zoning out, pagdating sa team fighting game, sipin mo, napakalaking area nung sinasakop ng Monkey King. Kaya, Kung being, able, usapan, yun being able to vox out and being able to uh, take down yung mga weak, weaker heroes sa side ng kalaban once they step in, into that uh, Wukong's Wukong command. command. Yun yung yeah. binibigay niya. Especially if the Jingo Mastery was on. Oo, tapos, kum- napakaganda rin ang laning hero din ng isang... Uh, Monkey King kasi you cannot hindi ka pwedeng kahit mag-trade hit sa kanya kasi mag, uh, mag-trigger at mag-trigger yung Jingo strikes niya that will be a problem when it comes to the lane Meron stage Meron akong question about Monkey King wow. yung if ever ba mag-echo saber yung Monkey King Ay, yun, kasama ba siya dun sa Wukong's hindi Command? Hindi naman Hindi Ah yung mga oh. Wukong's hindi siya nagdodobol Oo oh, hindi naman medyo masama na medyo imba na yung imba na Oo nga naisip ko lang <laughs> mong, pero hindi dati pwede siya mag-basher dun sa mga Monkey King na nagbabash din yung kanilang mga wukong Pero, sa wukong sa kamangay. Tinanggal na kasi masyadong OP. Masyado Ang ginawa niya ngayon, nag-battle theory na lang siya. Oh, para para nagkiklip naman. Clip naman. <laughs> nagkiklip ah, naman. Ah, okay. Kasama pa rin yung wukong sa kamangay. Yap, yap, yap. Kaya nga, yung mga nakikita mo, yung mga nag-MK, nagiging saging na lang sila eh. Nagpapanggap <laughs> na lang silang saging sa gilid, tapos oh. yung mga MK na lang yung pumapalo. Oh. Yung mga ah, chewables na lang. So ito, yes. Disruptor will be the pick for HTC. Uh, for yan. the Voyager naman will be kung the ka, Mirana. Kung ka disruptor na supportante, medyo maganda yan. Yung catch potential yung dalawa. Kung ka with the X mark, disruptor with the glimpse. The glimpse oh, and kinetic field. And yung mismong mga skill set nila eh, pwede kang ikulong into that uh, go ship, static storm into go ship. Oh. Dalawa yung pang catch nila dito. Of course, uh, pag sinalo mo na yung damage, that necropos, especially once he is up to level 18, makuha niya yung... Uh, ultimate niya, if you are uh, half or less than half ng HP mo, immediately mamamatay ka. Oh. So ito, ang answer naman ng Voyager, they have the Shadow Demon. I like this, kasi maganda yung combo niya with the Mirana as well, so Jakiro, kasi papalubugin na niya isang target dito, the start of the start of the fights, and then easy arrow na to, easy ice path din na set up dito for Voyager, even the macro bar can be set up by that uh, by the disruption. Tapos sama mo pa yung soul catcher. So much damage can be dealt uh, early stage of the game. Nature's Prophet will be the pick for HTC. Yeah. And um, alam natin ang Nature's Prophet is one of the uh, one of the good heroes para sa pag push, para sa pag split push, yep. pag grab. Now, so if ever uh, magka gipi dan dito ang HTC, they will just. Uh, Run. Oh, run. Oh, feeling ko maganda yung light up ng Voyager. Given yung mga four heroes on both sides. Yung Voyager kasi, even mag-split uh, push dito yung Nature's Prophet, yung spam na meron yung Voyager, especially if Mirana goes to oh, the Aghanims or, Aga Nims, or ah, even the Red Cliff type. Kaya niya mag-clear ng creep wave dito eh. Tapos, yung Jakiro can easily push out the lanes as well. Mm-hmm. Ang maganda rito, meron silang save mechanic. Pag nag-reaper, pwede nilang i-disruption Yun na ng Shadow Demon. So, completely prevent the Reaper Scythe then to, from landing. Let's see if that will be the case. Ito, ngitin na tayo ng first, Saka ng last set of combats. Oo, di ba? Arrow, lubog disruption pa to. Lubog pa na technique. <laughs> that, let's see, Voyager, they banned out the draw. Uh, so, HTC naman, they banned out the anti-mage. I think parehas lang din yung set of bands last time. Less, uh, I think, okay, uh, Voyager well, last ban nila yung Artemage last game, HTC, sila naman nag-ban na draw, so medyo nagka-swap din dito both teams natin, but they feel the same role. Kasi yung draw dito, perfect synergy with the HTC squad, kasi gagawin nila is use the draw for the bonus damage on the Necrophos, bonus damage on the Nature's Prophet, tapos ang lakas din mag-push nun. Precision Aura will be there to help them, especially marksmanship din. Tapos, uh, side naman ng HTC, the anti-mage will be really good on their lineup kasi yun na lang yung naglalaksa dito. Hard carry. Although, the Mirana can go to that route. But, Mirana naman, pwede siyang mag-magic damage din. Uh, choice din, if he so chooses. But, the Bloodseeker, blood though. Bloodseeker, okay. surprisingly, going for a Bloodseeker. I think the problem on the lineup of HTC for this particular game is they don't have a hero that can uh, stand good sa front line. Especially with the lineup na meron yung Voyager dito. Yung, eh, kung ya, kung aasa ka sa uh, Negroboss as your uh, tank Five hero, imi, ma, napakadaling target niya ng uh, Doom. And then they can easily burst him down with the uh, Jakiro to follow up with, oh. of course, the dual breath, that macro fire. 
that Ice Pat Mirana can also contribute in terms of dealing damage even on the uh, ghost form. Uh -oh. Na meron yung Necropos dahil maganda nga yung Magic Burst. And of course, syempre pag na-doom ka na, mawawala na, maninegate na lahat ng uh, binibigay mo yeah. sa table eh, uh -oh. as a Necropos. Eh, sinong iarap mo? Bloodseeker? Yung yeah, Bloodseeker. Maganda yung mga ano, AOE uh, damage nila. The, yung point control ng HGTC na doon. Kasi pwede sila mag-kinetic field, static storm. Uh -huh. Roy, kita sprout. mo ang kati niyan, Death Prophet. Death Goodbye, Prophet. hot dog. Well, ano yan, the Death eh, Prophet... Gulat pick. Oo, oh, gulat. Kasi ang Death Prophet, siya yung mas gusto niya na nagsistay siya sa point. Hindi eh, yeah. ba ang HGTC, ang kanilang mga heroes dito is to control the heroes onto the point. They have yung uh, uh, blood right, meron sila ng static storm, meron sa mm -hmm. kinetic field. Pero yung Death Prophet, would love to stay in one point and just deal the damage using the exorcism. Maybe that's the reason why they picked that one. And also, a good team fight type support of... Support Mirana, support Doom. Uh, feeling ko, uh, support... Feeling ko, support Mirana, SD Mirana yun. SD Mirana, then offlane Doom, tapos... Uh, Hindi. Ah, mid 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 uh, mid so, Jackie Rowe din. No? Oh, Jackie Rowe din na doon. So offlane na lang tayo. Ah, hindi. Carry ano, Mirana offlane doom. Yeah, I guess. Ah, hindi. Oo oh, nga, offlane doom. Hindi natin alam. Hindi natin din nakita eh. <laughs> so, game na ba? Na Goods na ba 'yan? But 'yan nga. Ah. Uh, yung gusto ng gawin dito ng HTC is kind of kind of a uh, mimic yung ginawa nung unang nung Voyager sa first game to have that mid game potential kasi napakalakas ng kanila mid game dito Bloodseeker can amplify almost anyone sa, sa, sa team Nature's Prophet ang pwede niyang gawin mag TP in and out dun sa kung saan man gusto mong lumaban yes, lalo tapos na pag nag level damage. 25 yun yung uh, kanyang uh, Andy, talent tree only uh -huh. TP only TP no cooldown TP saan saan na lang sa yup 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 so yun so that, that might be the idea behind why Voyager picked that Bloodseeker kasi again that is a very mid game oriented hero meron din pa namang may, may pero kasi sa Voyager they you know? have the uh, Death Prophet Death Prophet to team fight din ang kailangan yeah. lang gawin dito ng HRC kailangan nilang unahan ma silence dito si Death Prophet hindi na makapagbato ng exorcism and work around yung cooldown din ng exorcism kasi one thing with exorcism of the death prophet kapag nag cooldown yan sobra mo mababa din yung team fight potential ng isang death prophet especially kung mas silence mo siya kasi hindi siya makapag spirit siphon ng madalas and spirit siphon is based on charge din so hindi rin siya ganun ka taas hindi rin siya ganun ka often nung din magagamit so maybe if we, if HTC can yes. work around that they can win this game mm -hmm. yep kanino ka HTC or Voyager in terms of lineup in terms of lineup mas gusto kong gamitin yung HTC mas mas uh, for me kasi lagi kong fine favor yung mas madaling i-execute alam mo yun yung wala so, nang I think yung HTC HTC yung, yung uh, lineup nila dito maganda yung hero nila uh, in terms of AoE yung blood damage seeker. yeah the blood seeker well, kasi blood seeker nature's prophet kung yeah, pa disruptor I would say necrophos ikaw ba Voyager for Voyager me for ka. me at least for me, kasi medyo... Kasi ang ano nga, yung sabi nga ni Wolf, uh, they have to wait for the old team. Alam mo, ano, madaling oh, i-execute yung profit. lineup ng HTC, literal. Pag nagkabanggaan ng 5.5, ang daling i-execute oh, oh. nato. Death oh. profit yun, lahat naman tatangkay doon sa mga yun. Yeah, the, syempre. Tas, ang, ang siguro one-up dito sa Voyager talaga, sobrang ganda nung kanilang ganking potential kasi mayroon silang Shadow Demon, tas Mirana, or Shadow Demon into the Chakiro Ice Path, di ba? Lubog pa na, lubog Ice Path. Dami na ways to set up the fights. Tapos yung Death Prophet din, pwede yung mag-disruption tapos abangan mo ng isang silence and then hindi na siya makapag-team fight. So, in terms of yung laning stage lang dito, I think yung H, yung Voyager din. Marami silang ways to at least start the fight. Let's see about that as we're just waiting for our game to load. Guys, this is again the first semi-final matchup of our day yeah. on, by HP Esports Tour. This is HTC versus Voyager. And um, the score is zero for one and in favor of Voyager, oh. of course. So, tignan natin kung uh, ano na ba, magsastart na game natin dito. We are just waiting for them to fix again the PC of Mr. White T-Shirt Boy. Mm -hmm. oh, si Libero. Ang dati yung drop ang Libero. Uy. Grabe na. Cool. Ano, shout out dun sa ano, 793 MMR. Oo oh, nga, 793. Kaya mo yan. Si, si ano, kung si hindi nyo may tatanong, meron kaming kasamaan sa Mineski na nagsimula siya sa ano, 1K ba 2K? Sino? Si Lucky. Si Engineer Leggy. Oh, si Dito si Engineer Leggy. Nagsimula siya ate ng 2K. Ngayon, 4K na siya. Tsaga lang. Ayun, tsaga lang. <laughs> Stuck na siya 4K. <laughs> Game, gamer, ay ano, engineer by day, gamer by night. Oh. Yan. <laughs> So, tamang tiyaga lang, mga chong. 
All right. Yes, and of uh, once again, I am Aki from Mineski TV. We are heading into the real game. This is HTC versus Voyager game two, and I will now pass it to our casters, Wolf and Kuya D. Take it away. Yon, marami salamat. Kumaring Aki at ito na tayo. HTC vs Voyager, Voyager on the Radiant side. You have 80 out of 20. Ngayon siya ang support the Doom. Kasi kanina support picks siya. Mario Bro on that support disruptor. Uh, Jorge Salcedo. Okay, nagbago siya pangalan siya. Ating Death Prophet. As, uh, looks like there is gonna be a little bit of uh, fight lang. Okay, so trends na naman kanilang kalaban. Let's go back. Si Super Klingy ang ating Mirana. Na kanina siya yung carry din. So siya yung carry ngayon. Memento Mori on that Batrider last game. So this is the offlane for them. Offlane Jakiro tayo ngayon. Kuya D. Offlane Jakiro sila ngayon. Para naman dito sa side ng HTC. It's Proud 3K on that Bloodseeker. Question mark on your Necrobos Dragon. On your Disruptor. Sa Snappy Turtle. Kungka and Nani will be playing the Nature's Prophet. Okay. So, yun pala dito ang trip ng Voyager. Well, okay, sure. And uh, Voyager, I think ang kanilang adjustment dito is, uh, as we are seeing, uh, see, see, pinapakita natin ng mga players ngayon, Voyager, pinili nila yung offlane Jakiro, and I think yung 80, si 80 out of 20, kasi siya yung next player kanina, will go for that position for Doom, na medyo naging sikat nung time ni Poppy and time ni Kuro, na last time nung, uh, I think that was uh, last year. Naging prominent siya kasi ang lakas niya makapag-gank. Maybe go for the jungle first. Let's see if that will be effective. Kasi yung jungle ngayon, as a position 4, hindi na siya ganun ka-effective. Dahil hindi siya as good as before. Then again, so, tignan natin kung paano magiging laning phase dito. This is a trial lane onto the top lane para dito sa side ng HTC. This is just a bait crew, guys, here. Oh, just nice the torrent start. connecting onto. Jakir is in trouble. He might fall down dito, mga kaibigan. Voyager, they might concede the Spurs Blood. And this will be the Kunka taking down one. They are about to take down two. One more hit onto the Doombringer. Will they be able to take him down? Papasukin pa niya. Papasukin niya. And there's the double kill. HTC taking down two without losing anyone onto the top lane. That is a dream start. Especially if you are playing a Kunka, which is exactly. a support. Double trouble kagad. Dalawa agad yung nahuli niya na turret. That's actually very good. That's a very rare instance din. But again, tama timing na. You need to give credit where credit is due. Exactly. Parang artista kasi yung Bloodseeker doon na akala mo. Aping-api siya eh. Tapos may dumating na resback sa likod. Huling-huli sila sa actor. Best actor. Oh, malabit, malabit. The baits are real for HTC that give them two kills already. Including the first blood. And that's a lot of gold then going in their favor. Experience as well. And maybe... Voyager can consider another oh. torrent connecting on wonders that uh, they want to get for the skill. Will they be able to take down etong si Bloodseeker? Yes, oh. they will, and that's a very good response. They will they be able to take down too on the side of HTC. Oh. Hindi nila po puwersa inang issue. They will be happy with that kill, taking down that Bloodseeker, at oh. least getting one kill onto the board para naman dito sa side Uy, ng Cebuano. Uy, pero tignan natin na Infernal Blade na lalasod siya mga kaibigan na susunog na papaso na sasaktan. <laughs> I, I wonder though. Aray ko best. Direk, pwede ba natin makita ko ano yung item build, ay yung skill build dito ni Doom? I can't remember ko ano yung una niya kinuha kasi if he dealt a lot of damage sa Bloodseeker, he might have went for the level 1 Infernal Blade. Meron na siya Infernal Blade ngayon. Uh, but... Yeah, okay. He does have that Devour pala. So, meron siyang slow coming out of that Hell Bear. Kano, kanyang Devour. Tapos, add mo pa Infernal Blade. So much damage. Can be dealt. Eh, look at that. Kaso, malina pinapasukan si Bloodseeker. Aba, 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 aba. Masyado ka maasim. Bakit ka nagpupunta doon? Anong bibilin mo? Hold up to. Saan punta? Hmm. Bawas ang buhay niya. And, kung kita mo naman yung DPS na meron dito yung Voyager. Meron sila Dual Breath. Applying the slow. Meron sila nung... Hellbird, smash nga naman. Yung Thunderclap, alam tawag doon. That Liquid can also fire. deal a lot of damage. Liquid Fire at Infernal Blade. So, ang ginagawa lang dito ng Voyager, inaabangan nilang gumamit ng Blood Rage yung, yung uh, Bloodseeker sa kanyang sarili. Tapos doon sila nila. As there's gonna be a gang mula doon sa mid lane, Nani oh. will actually secure that kill. And there's gonna be a Prophet going down, Twinned Dragon going down as well. Another 2 for nothing exchange in favor. Of Team HTC dito and bumabawi si mula nila bumabawi nga hindi. So ang ginawa din ng HTC dito sa mid lane is Necrophos na medyo bababa yung kanyang boy. So nag ano rin siya nag acting rin dito. Tapos nag TP na rin dito sa mid lane yung Nature's Prophet. They were able to kill that Death Prophet down. Kita sa top they were able to kill the Jakiro. So two for nothing exchange nga na ba dito. Spirit Siphon. Spirit Siphon is being triggered. Tignan natin. Will they be able to get that kill? 
Pero mukhang wala. Hindi magkakapatayan niya. Tamang harassment lang. Grade one. Tamang harassment lang sila rito. Pero tingnan natin dito. Hunka on that backside. Here comes that X-Mark. Oh, the Torrent. No. Mga kaibigan connecting on the Doombringer. And they might be able to take down Doom. One more hit. It will be enough. And Sinong here comes the Dangerous Prophet. The Twin the Dragon. Delegado na naman. This might be a 2 for nothing exchange again. Pero dumating dito. Oh, dual breath. Jack Hero. Kumikiller crossover. Nagpapanggap na puno. Pero ang ganda na pala. Ikutan niya. Ikutan portion. Double kill for that Bloodseeker. At nako. Wala kang kaibigan. Bigan, bakit ka tumutulong? Saan ka pupunta? Kinaka, pinapadem lang. Puti work, puti work. Oh my God. HTC at, nako po, yung home crowd natin. Ni, no. Ay, well, hindi, hindi nga pala sila yung home crowd, but they are still cheering for HTC from Mila Ilob. That was a 3-4 nothing. Okay, at ako, ako, ito na naman. Mukhang ginak na naman siya rito. Relentless pressure being applied. Glimbak. Saan ka pupunta dito? Kumain muna siya ng uh, chua balls. Alam mo, mahirap kasi mamatay ng gutom. Kaya Ay, kumain muna siya ng crit. Oo, ako ayoko nun. Kaya lagi ako busog pag natutulog. Eh. <laughs> Ah, matay ako. Ba Totoo yan. Ako? Kagabi, si Kuya D, sabi niya kay Hain na gutom eh. Kaya mo mamatay ng gutom. 8-4, na pala ko yun ngayon. That's already... 5 minutes pa lang. 8 kills na para sa HPC. Hindi ko sa tra ang trend ng laro to, yung Doombringer, na hindi nyo pinipili. <laughs> May malas. Hindi, hindi nila alam gamitin parehas. Oh Nakon no! Nakulong na naman mga kaibigan. Exorcism! Oh, side boss, Riverside will connect. It will be the 9th kill for the game. Sub 6 minutes, 9 kills already on the side of HTC. Mukhang inipon nila yung galit at oh. bukot na nararamdaman nila kanina nang inapis sila rito. Itong team ng uh, Voyager. And this is a big problem dahil uh, oh, oh, lumalakas, oh, oh, ng, lumalakas oh, oh. dito yung uh, Necrophos. Uh, if we see the net worth right now, sino ba nakunguna? But the Bloodseeker as well, nataas na yung na level doon dahil ang daming kills din sa top lane. That will translate again to more experience. Bottom lane, boy, uh, super clean well, actually. Ito yung silver, line, ito yung silver okay. lining sa lineup nila. Oh, nice. Oh, uh, ito yung silver lining sa lineup ng Voyager. They have the Mirana pre-farming all the time. Despite of the team losing multiple kills on different lanes, medyo Mirana is uh, being left alone dito sa bottom lane to farm. And uh, as you can see, hindi nalalayo yung network niya dito. He is sitting at 2,900 in terms of overall network. Just 100 gold away from the Bloodseeker, which is the overall leader in terms of network dito sa buong laro natin na to. The experience At nakita mo, ito na naman yung gameplay ng ano rito, na Voyager. Iniwan na nila, inalis na nila yung oh. Doombringer, pero delikado, may Nature's Prophet na naman. Spirit Cyborg, tignan natin, ang ganda na ng disruption. They might turn this around, they want to go for the chase. Delikado rito, hoy Nature's Prophet, kanina ka pa, taka pupunta, tapon pa sura, Jackie Rezir, kami naman. Ito na, Spirit Cyborg, two for nothing exchange. Hindi pwedeng puro kayo, kami naman. Grabe yung pagka-save din dito ni Disruptor. Then ni, uh, it's not the Disruptor Prophet, it's the Shadow Demon using the Disruption to completely save that Death Prophet. Death Prophet, nakapag-heal up siya. He has the Spirit Siphon, meron din siyang Magic Stick, if I'm not mistaken. There is gonna be the replay oh, ganda, eh. dito. Oh, Ayan, no? Pinalubog ka rin ko, besta wala yung target. Takbuhan na, sir. Nagkahulihan nga sila kasi dyan. Ayan, no? Oh. Huli ka, Balbon. Nag-taunt pa talaga ang tropa natin si Nature's Prophet. They also got the Necrophos. Wala, alam niya. Not gonna be enough. So, man, so much damage na damage per second coming out from Voyager at ah. slow na rin dun sa uh, Necrophos. Alam niya nang mamamatay siya. Nangasar oh. na lang siya. Nangasar na, na lang. Tama naman. 4-9, that's a big swing then in terms of goal. As you can see, less than 1k na lang yung net worth ng HTC. But there's gonna be a gang snappy turn. X marks the spot. Oh, Torrent and win the neck. Pero tapak... Oh, oh, tignan natin dito. Oh, 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 ano, 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 ano. Oh, oh, oh. Kala nyo, ha? The good thing is, kailangan niya munang gamitin yung kanyang Spirit Siphon. At kapag nakapaggamit yung kanyang Spirit Siphon, hindi nyo siya easy target. That can give a lot of sustain din on their side. Walang way ang HTC din to prevent that. And... Just like that, naiwan sa kusina itong si Mirana. Unti-unti ah, na nang nang nangakapera dito. Yun na nga, yun na nga maganda dito sa playstyle nitong uh, Voyager. At least they have uh, gotten uh, something going on oh, their side. No. Pero ito, hinabol na, in-exorcism na mga kaibigan. Hinahabol na si Kunka rito. Saka pupunta, ay tinaba ng Infernal Blade. Oh, pero go shroud, it will be pop. Tignan natin dito, they will be able to go for the chase. Pero Nature's Prophet, aba, may pinaglalaban. Nag-landing siya sa maling airport. Yappy Baller, saka pupunta. Torret to connect onto oh, the Death oh, Prophet. Teka lang, teka lang. Rebound! Oh! Easy! Pinaasa! Easy. Ginawa na ang lahat. Pero ito lang, teka lang, teka lang. Ako muna hahabol dito. Teka lang, teka lang. Oh, Mayday, Mayday, Eagle One. Hinahabol. Nagpapanggap ka pa puno. Wala kang kawala sa akin. Si Dubringer, sumasama na. Si Chakiro. Oh my God, Bloodseeker is here. Pero pinabagal siya. Saan ka pupunta? Nalalason! Pa 
Ah, Here comes Sinukat. Super Klingy. Oh, super Klingy. Super Klingy. Super Klingy. Pero boy, si Black Seeker dito. Nakataka siya. Kasi siyang alamat. Napakabilis tumakbo. Pero hindi pa rin niya patay yung Doom. That is a very chaotic fight. If we see the fight recap dito, let's see kung sino ang nakalamang. Pero mukhang ang mas lamang the Voyager kasi they kept the leader ng HTC. Oh, so we could judge lang natin dito pa the Observer Wars as highlighted by our direct na nakakuha ng, 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 ng uh, action na yun. But problem is for Voyager, hindi sila pwede mag-overstate lalo na pag mababa yung boy nila kasi yung oh, Bloodseeker pwede mapagkipan. Pero ito ha, bulin na naman nila. They want to get this X mark on that Death Prophet na kanina pa nila pinupuntir oh. dito pero kita mo naman yung mga yung, save. Yung, yung mga save play of the ni... day ni... Nakita mo, hindi ang hapon Demon. pa lang nandito na si Shadow Demon para iligtas si Tropa oh, Pipsi. Dalawang beses. So, well, eventually namatay din yung Death Prophet but that was a good save pa rin kasi yung Reaper Sight nagbibigay ng additional na Death Timer and the fact na na-prevent siya ni Shadow Demon means na hindi nila nakapitalize on yung pag-usage ng uh, naman ng Reaper Sight. Uh, pansinin mo, no? yung Doombringer na supposedly offline nila mga kaibigan, eh, ginawa na nilang jungle muna. Jackiro na yung kumukuha ng experience dito. Oh, bo, which is palit. ganyan din yung ginawa nila nung game number one. Oh, oh. Lane switch na parang yung priority nila binibigyan nila doon kay 80 out of 30 na player natin mula sa side ng Voyager. Rupture committed, oh, pero walang TP. Tignan natin, tignan natin. Uy, no? eh, oh, pero delikado, ah. delikado si Vladi rito, mga kaibigan. Masakit. Si Vladi Seeker, si Vladi Seeker, mukhang mamamatay pa siya rito. Two Bringer, Flipbox ang kapupunta. Mm. Oh, Uwi ka muna dyan. But here comes uh, Nani. Actually, Ay, scoring the kill. Grabe naman tong HCC. Laging handa. Lima Nani. na naman sila rito. And they will be able to take down that Jack Hero. Might go for the push as well. There is a ward being prepared dito. This might be a tier, three, tier oh, 1 tower natin, going ah. their favor. Shadow oh, Demon. Oh, Nagahanap ng opening. No. Tignan natin. Wapapabalik ba siya rito? Hinahabol siya rito. Oh, nakatayo lang siya. Blood right. Anong gagawin mo? Oy, tinago sa rin eh. Easy dodgeball. Easy dodgeball. Easy ball, boy. Dito. At mukhang tutulak na lang dito ang HTC. Shadow Demon still staying in here. But that tier 1 tower will be taken out. It's the first tower dito sa ating game. Oh, the first casualty indeed. Tignan natin kung they will be able to get another objective dito. Medyo maganda. Ang pinapakita ng HTC sa simula, they are up by 5 kills into our game. Death Prophet medyo nahuhuli in terms of network. Behind by almost 8,000 gold dito sa kanyang counterpart sa mid lane. Bloodseeker is leading the game with 5,700, almost a 6k uh, network para dito sa side ng HTC. Pero Voyager, they are relying heavily on this Priestess mm -hmm. of the Moon or the Mirana, which is their leading hero in terms of overall network. And uh, super clean. medyo ang item choice niya rito, judging by uh, yung mga ano niya, mukhang Lincoln Link Spear will be the first item. And he, often you go oh. for a Lincoln Spear if you go for a uh, right-click type na, ano, pero ito, hinahabol nila. Oh, dinumpanis mga kaibigan. Tignan natin kami killer crawl ng Sober. Infernal Day, mapapatay ba nila? Necropos dumating. Tignan natin, tignan natin mga kaibigan. Arrow! Bumapada! Sa pulka na naman! Pero ang ganda naman ng discount. Ating Marino rito. Necropos delikado. Naka-reaper siya. Pero hinaabot siya. Dual pero hindi tatama. They want to go for the chase. The torrent is here. Ang ganda naman doon. Pero nature's prophet is here. Oh, Tirada delikado. Tinabahan ng parko. Sinagasaan. You go down. Jackiro nakikipaglaban. Necropos prophet goes to goal for the chase. Ultimate has been pumped. Pero 3 for 1 at the moment. Nagkakahabulan. Make latin 3 for 2. Jackie. Uy, Jackiro hinahabol pa rin. Pero death prophet is here. They want to go. Nature's prophet. San punta mo? Bakit naman lahat hinahabol mo dito? Static Storm able to take down two. Think na natin, will they be able to punish more? Grabe naman yung abulan na to. Grabe nga nga abulan. But here comes uh, the Bloodseeker. Pero TTPN lang siya sa mukha dito ni Death Prophet. That, is, that was still 4-4-3 four, four, trade. I think 4-4-3 four, four, oh, okay, four, four, four. trade favoring HTC, syempre. But the gold change is actually favoring on the side of Voyager dahil mas valuable yung nakuha targets din dito. And the Death Prophet was able to stay alive for so long using that exercise. Medyo pumulis ka lang. Medyo siya yung huling dumating. But it still does the job. 2K I think good at good. Sa HTC. Wala pa kasing ganong item yung Voyager. And I think oh. they need to avoid yung mga ganong types of engagement. Especially, hindi pa naman max level yung mga skills on the side uh, of their hero. Medyo ang naging problema dun, namatay din yung Mirana nila. Oh. Although they have they been able to punish the Bloodseeker. Unang uh, nilang napitasyon, ang ganda ng arrow connection nila. But nung dumating na yung backup on the side of HTC, medyo nagkaalanganin na nun. The Static Storm was used. And maganda yung usage ng mga skills from both sides. Although, medyo lumamang ng bagya sa trade na yun yung HTC. Pero ito, hinaabangan nila. They want to go for this. Ang ganda nito mga kaibigan. Susukatin mala protractor. Tignan natin. Sineset up na ng spatter mga kaibigan. Papalugin. Tignan natin. Ang ganda ng discarding yan dito. Uy! Uy! Sinong victim ha? Oh, 
Pinalubog. Wait na natin. Mahana. Uy, nako, hindi tumama. Medyo advance. Pero eto na. Nako, tinamaanan nito yung mga kaibigan. Land right will be there. They will be able to take down one first. Here comes the ghost ship. Moonlight Shadow will be popped as well. They will go for a disengage dito. Pero... Ang ganda naman ng ano. Nung kung tumama yung pana, that could have been a disaster oh, no. from the side of HTC. Pero tignan natin, nagahabol si Vlad. Yung mga kaibigan. The Glyphs will be back. there. Static Storm. Tinama pa ng Vlad right. Sakto, See sakto. Now. Parang sinukat yung patuhan ng skill. <laughs> And the Dead Prophet will fall. Pero Uy. they will be able to take down the Nature's Prophet na medyo, 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 medyo kung saan-saan na papatlan. Dumotora. <laughs> kung saan-saan airport lu na lumalanding. Yup, yup, yup. That's a one for one trade. But again, that's gonna favor HTC because Position 2 yung kanina gini-give up and of course pwede sila mag-transition into pushing but here oh, comes Shakiro. Kalma, kalma, kalma. Macrofire. Macrofire. Arrow will fly. Pero dadaan pala ko Merishal ni Robin Hood. Tignan natin dito nagkakabulan. Here comes the Starstorm. Nagkakabulan dito. Bloodseeker nyo. Nice Inferno Blade. Kaligan. Oy, they will be able to take ice someone. Pot. That ice pot connecting on that Necropos. Necropos will be disrupted down pero walang arrow to follow up. Although there's the snow. The arrow will connect. The Starfall as well. Double kill for your Mirada. They will be able to take down two. Go! Ghost ship will connect on four. Oh my God, that one, the ghost ship, but the damage is not enough. Tignan natin dito ng kakapulan. Nasa si Dead Prophet, ang tagal niya mabuhay dito. Mirada is very low on HP. There's that clip back. Delegato siya dito, pero lalaban. Lalaban naman kasi. Triple kill. And that Dead Prophet, dumating na naman ang huli. Si Nature's Prophet, nakalina pa landing ng landing kung saan-saan. Will go down. This is a very chaotic fighting. We can convert this to a push. Blood right to kind of defend, but Mirana wala na mana. He might go down, he might go back as well. 1.6k net worth. Ang napunta. 2k gold swing going in favor of Voyager. 2k swing, tama nga naman. It's a very big fight, HTC. That extended fight. Maganda sana yung pagkakagamit ng Goshi, but there was enough damage as you've said. And nabuhay na yung Death Prophet din dito. They used the Static Storm. I think mas pala itong maaga din eh. Ang ganda ng synergy ng Voyager dito. Medyo ginagamit nila yung aggression ng HTC. Of course, HTC with the Bloodseeker, they want to go for the initial engagement. Like this one, Bloodseeker. Pero yung turn around, wala silang sagot eh. Kita mo, sabay-sabay sila tumatakbo. Wala silang ginagawang matino pagtakbuhan na eh. Pag palusob, okay lang. Pero pag na-doom na yung isa, watcher muna siya. Ang maganda rin dito sa ginawa nung doon, pinili niya yung pang-disable nung side ng HTC. Pero kita mo ito, four-man bar ko yan. Kabim! Wala lang talagang damage. Wala nga lang pa kasi patay na yung Bloodseeker, patay na yung Necropos eh. Yun nga ang nangyari doon. As much as you can land those X mark into the torrent, the glimpse as well, wala naman tumahampas din dito. And nag-overstep na rin dito si Disruptor. Three hits lang siya ni Imirana dito because he's very squishy. Yun na nga, ang haba ng replay natin. Masyado mahaba yung laban din. That will not favor HGC. Again, Voyager, they can excel in those extended fights kasi meron silang mga sustain nga naman dito. And... Oh, at ito mga kaibigan, nagahanap na naman ang opening dito, ang HTC. Hindi sila papadarag eh. Pagalaban kung laban yan. Laban laban ngayon. Ang net worth lead, nasa sign na ng Voyager. Pinakamayaman na ngayon ay ang Mirana. Yung patience dito ng Voyager now paying off. And what they did was just to fight HTC whenever HTC overextends. And lagi din ang pinibate out yung mga overextends na yan. They are forcing HTC to make those mistakes. Because the Doom is very tanky as well as the DP. It will take a lot of time for HTC to kill those heroes. And if they do kill those heroes, they might have overextended their bounds. So that's what happened in the past two fights where we won the Voyager. Yes, indeed. And that's it. They will start to rack up the item here. This team of Voyager. Yule Scepter will be completed very, very soon on the Death Drop. And this will give him survivability and initiation as well. They want to go. Here comes the Moonlight Shadow. Exorcism will be popped. Here comes the Static Storm. They will be able to be able to go for this. Tignan natin. Ang ganda no, naman nun. Pero tignan natin mga kaibigan. Oh! Macro fire na naman ang sinalo nila rito. On the backside. Doom going for the chase. They want to go for more. Na Doom sa mukha si Necropos. Walang magagawa. Pero two already falling on the side of Voyager. Mirana getting caught as well. Tignan natin kung anong nangyayari dito. Jakiro. He wants to go for the Kuka. Uma para. Dumili pa na para. Pero wala na naman nila ba. Nakadoom pa rin dito si Necropos. Necropos is still alive. Nakikipagpakbakan. Here comes the shroud. At nako. Walang napalaro ng Voyager. And that is a very big win going in favor of Team HTC. They might not be done yet dito. Nag-TP dun sa top actually Nature's Prophet. Ah, kala ko lumang din na naman ko sa airport tong si ano eh. They still want to fight though. They are fighting against the Necropos. Very sustainable then. Reaper's type connecting on the Doom. 
It will be killed. That's a third kill for Voyager. There's still Whoa! looking for more clips on the Mirana. X marks the red. Oh, katabusan mo na. Naman sa kajer, nalaban naman sa kajer. Hindi natin naman laban pa siya. Uy, pa si Mirana, he's still alive. Pero Blood Singer, mga Bugatti. Ang pinas po na. Paid away, mga Michael Jordan. Tignan natin dito, nagkakapula. Ay, pinalubok. Paano mamamatay yun? May tumahan ng Baby Shark. Baby Shark, 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 Shark. Walang tinamahan yung Baby Shark dito. Silence on. Pero dual breath din dito matama. Hindi na sila nagkakatamahan, Kuya D. Oo, kumbaga mga, ewan ko, mema lang, mema ba ito lang. Hindi na sila nagtamahan. Nabiso, nabiso. Pero ito, si Nature's Prophet nag-upush na top. It's gonna be a TP mula dun sa Mirana. Kind of deal with that. TP out for the Nature's Prophet. And sa hinaba-haba nun nangyari na yun, wala rin nagkapatay dun sa mga support. But there was a three kill, there were three kills. In favor of HTC. Nauna kasing namatay yung side ng ano eh. Itong si Dead Prophet eh. Hindi niya na-maximize na maayos yung exorcism niya which is majority ng damage from the side of Voyager at this particular point in time eh doon manggagaling. In terms of items, Yule Scepter up for the Death Prophet. Mahina pa yan. Medyo kulang pa nga dito. Kulang sa vitamins yan. That will be enough. That wouldn't be enough then dun sa chain of stuns dito from HTC. Kasi katulad ng ginawa nila kanina, nag-stack up sila ng ghost ship ng static store para completely talaga humanigate yung their property dito. Because Voyager, what they wanted to do is use the MLS and let DP survive long enough for the response to come. But then HTC already dealt with the dead profit and Voyager, ang nangyari is they were torn kung mag-go ba sila or hindi. And because they went for that fight, napatayin sila ng tatlo. This is a... Another maneuver from Voyager. Let's see if it will be successful. The lead is on the side of HTC, pero hindi ganun kalaki. And there is no clear lead then. Wala sa pare sa tingnan. This is still anybody's game. Still anybody's game. At tignan natin dito kung anong magiging plano nila mga kaibigan. Mukhang may may ispatag sila. Isputin nila dito Necropos. Pero with Necropos with a four stop. There's the chase. Arrow will fly. Pero it won't connect on anyone. And that will be a disengage on the side of HTC. And avoiding that gank attempt coming in from Team Oro. Voyager. 50 yeah. to 22 is the scoreline. 1K gold lead going in favor of Team HTC. Again, this is a game number two. Voyager leading by one game. Dito sa ating best of three series. So they just need a win. Uh, they are just a win away from securing themselves a, a oh. spot. Dito sa ating finals, finals mamaya. But Voyager, I mean HTC, they are not gonna give it away for free as they are now trying to assert their dominance, uh, their map control. Lamang sila ngayon sa objectives. Towards this mid lane, itong team ng HTC. No one defending though. And here comes the Twin Head Dragon, the Jakiro, using up his uh, skills. And yeah. That Prophet is here as well. They'll be able to clear up some. Aron fly! It won't connect. Almost, but, but not quite. Pero baka mahuhuli nila ang Kukalicious. Papabal dito. Static, static Storm. storm. Tignan natin. There's that four stop out. Pero wala na silang Static Storm dito. Nakakabula dito. There's that Necropos. Oy, that Ancient Appar... Ay, the Ancient the, Apparition tuloy. The Death, that death Prophet. Prophet Ultimate. They will be able to take down that Kunka. Will they be able to to fight more? Sila naman ang merong Exorcism dito. dito. So they will try to convert this into a Tier 2 Tower of their own dito sa mid lane. But they need to be careful. They know that the Static Storm is down. But Blood Ride can be used to defend this. There's that fortification to delay the inevitable, but I think this tier 2 tower will still fall. Arrow will fly, trying to fish for some information. Pero mukhang Nature's HTC. Nature's Prophet will try to mitigate this one that puto siya sa mga bottom lane to push out and the creep wave will actually respawn right now. I mean, for both teams. That will mean that Voyager needs to back down and they will not be able to get a kill on the tower. Samantala, HTC just dealing the damage onto the bottom lane will be answered though. TP out. So damage dealt lang dito ang nangyari sa pare sa team natin. That will still favor HTC. Because that is a Death Prophet ultimate committed and only ang nawala lang sa side ng HTC is just the Kamka. Hindi rin sila nawala ng Tier 2 Tower. So okay pa rin ito sa HTC so far. As much as cooldowns are concerned. And actually, the Tower with it sa bottom lane, so okay pa rin ito. Mas okay sa HTC because they traded a Kamka for a cooldown on the Death Prophet ulti and one Tier 2 Tower sa bottom lane. And objective-wise, lamang na ngayon ng HTC with two towers. And that can be easily translated sa mas magandang map ko to side. Ayun na nga dito mga kaibigan. So let's see what will be the play for both teams B. Tingnan natin dito, Voyager. They are relying heavily on the Mirana. So the Mirana needs more item for uh, for him to be efficient dito sa laro natin na to. Uh, currently, Yasha and Lincoln Spear lang yung item niya rito. Manta style will be the item of choice for the Mirana. This is a very good item, especially if he is trying to split push or trying to dodge some of the skills. But here comes the claim back, mga kaibigan. MLS, Yule Scepter to 
to help him survive pero here comes the dash of the nice silence here, though ito, ang ganda naman nun blood right is here pero up through rapture tumakbo lumaban moonlight shadow defending here comes the mirana the starfall oh my god ang ganda na static storm dito but the BKB is up there mga kaibigan one for one trade though arrow will fly blood seeker naglalakad lakad siya dito para chubibo mawawala na yung clicky yung nice BKB niya on mirana will be able to take down there's the double kill they might try to go for a turn around dito go guys the danger mirana is on its way for a triple kill there's not blood right preventing them from to go for the chase pero two for one exchange i think that will be a two for one exchange in favor of team voyager that could for have been sure. worse for htc dahil nabuhay lang yung kuka nila ron is that done yet the arrow oh! will connect grabe naman si super clingy super clingy so triple kill yung technically para sa kanya niya, super, super clingy. clingy this will translate into push four versus of one Medyo Actually, sabi yung trade is 3 for 1 trade at mukhang mga sinani dito that they just profit. Pare, ang ginagawa lang ng Voyager dito, they are capitalizing on the aggression of HTC. Oh. Yes, HTC, they have uh, the initiation, the initiative to go to the death profit. But nakawala yung death profit dito eh. Nag oh. Moonlight Shadow, ang nakakover lang ng dust nila yung death profit. Hindi nila alam Oy. na nagdoon, buti ka na naman tamaan ng pana. Ha, ah, munti ka pa kay Super Clingy. But I completely agree with you, Kuya Dio. Nangyari kasi doon sa previous fight, they over-invested doon sa pag-kill sa Death Prophet. Nag even using the ghost ship na hindi nga tumama ng Static Storm as well, ginamit din doon. They were able to kill off the Death Prophet, pero wala na silang firepower. Kasi kahit pa nag-BKB ito yung Bloodseeker, and as fast as he, as he was, hindi nga naman, walang mahampas yung Bloodseeker kahit mag-BKB siya at napakabilis niya. And that meant na nawala sila ng firepower towards the end after the BKB expired perfect time for the ice bath and they were just pummeled down by Voyager 3 4 1 and uh pipe of insight available for our two at saka alam mo yung ginawa nila no pero bayan nila blood seeker magtatakbo doon eh kumbaga wala akong mapapakialam sa nararamdaman mo eh oh mamaya ka tapapatayin pag maliit ka na pag super junior ka na super junior pero ang ganda ng item pickup dito doombringer opting now to go for this uh Pipe of Insight. Surprisingly, Mirana didn't go for the Manta style. Instead, he settled for a SNY as his item. No, oh, he really wants to fight. Also, he should go for the Diffusal Blade that is uh, quite understandable against the Necrophos. Death Prophet, though, meron siyang, meron available yung kanyang mga skills din dito. They actually, niya Atos. He might, yeah, I think he will go for the Rod of Atos. Hindi siya ganun kayaman dito, mga chong. He's just, uh, he uh, is sixth in terms of net worth. So, nakita nyo naman yung uh, yun na highlight dito na direct na hindi natin masyadong pwedeng sabihin. Na, again, hindi natin pwedeng sabihin lahat ng info dito dahil um, the teams might hear it. But, nakita nyo naman yung mga item choices dito para sa ating natin dito. 23 to 19. Kanina, we know na nag-start yung game ng 9-1 eh. Ah, hindi, Manta pala. Binuo niya yung Manta. Sino yung okay. SNY? Si Blood ah, si Bloodseeker. Ah, okay. 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 Kamali lang ako na tingin. Manta pala yung binuo oh. niya rito. And now opting to go for a... Uh, BKB. Ooh, ang ganda naman ang plano rito. Pero oh. tingnan natin mga kaibigan. They want to go for this. Tingnan natin kung ano mangyayari. Hop! Hop! Binomba. Binomba nila. Binomba nila ang illusion. And there's a fortification pero arrow will fly. Does it connect that, uh, that arrow? Mukhang hindi. Pero mukhang may mahuli sila rito. Riverside sa bandang likod. Masyadong maasim. Si Doom Panes. That will be a tier 1 for a Doombringer. And that will from an immediate retreat on the side yes. of Team Voyager. They have arrow. lost. Arrow will oh. fly. Pero medyo off mark. Off the mark. Catch. Jakiro once again. Ice Path will connect on to 1. But I think I meant to worry. Just use the use. Pero mga mga pala yung dito, that is gonna be two down on their side. Oh. Sama pa yung tier 2 tower. Sulit dito ang train na ginawa ng HTC. Dahil in terms of objectives, they took down the tier 2 tower. As well as just, uh, gonna lose a tier 1 tower sa may bottom lane. So mas maganda pa rin talaga sa HTC. Voyager, they can't find an opening just yet to, to go for the 5v5. Kasi ang gusto nila dito is to use the Death Prophet Ultimate to get those objectives and the team fight against HTC, which is not happening so far. HTC. Uy. Ether Lens is the next item para dito kay Kung Kalicious Papa Ball, which is uh, enhancing 
yung kanyang initiation uh, dito sa laro, laro natin. Of course, yung range ng kanyang mga skill, malayo na yung X mark, malayo na yung Torre dito. And with that other lens, it will be uh, much more further yung kanyang uh, initiation dito. Pero tignan natin dito mga kaibigan, Necron Force with the four stop, medyo chop soy gaming, pero malapit na siya dun sa Sacred Relic. And that's the Relic already up and running on your Necropost. So Radiance will be the item choice for this Necropost. Again, this is just a uh, uh, very slight margin separating these two teams from each other in Whoa. terms of overall network. 19 to 25 is the scoreline and I like the item choice here for that Blood really Seeker. Interesting item choice. Medyo mababa rin naman ang armor on the side of Voyager that will be amplified by that item. The right thing is there. I mean, the Doom is not a high armor target. Uh, unless, of course, mag opt ng mga Shiva's Guard or the Blade Mail or Assault Kiras, but this could be very effective against Voyager. So, mukhang uh, merong uh, plano at uh, merong sinasabi dito si Necrovos. Uh, mukhang gusto niya ka ito. Masamang plano. Uh, hidden code. Okay. So, Tiki out mula sa Nature's Prophet. Oh, so, hindi siya maabutan dito. And he's uh, doing a quite decent job in terms of split pushing across the map dito. Itong uh, Nature's Prophet natin. And uh, tignan natin dito mga kaibigan. Ano ang gagawin dito? Medyo nagkaroon tayo ng halt in terms of progression dito. In terms of objective taking, medyo both teams being tentative sa kanilang mga, magi uh, sa kanilang mga action dito sa game natin na to. So, may sipat-sipat lang pala sa tingnan dito. Just farming out, I think. They're also waiting for items on more of their sides. But in terms of support dito, mas, uh, I would say, HTC pares nung kanilang supports dito nagkaka-item. Well, yung problema nga lang, sobrang na-sacrifice din yung Shadow Demon. And Shadow Demon, hindi naman siya ganun kalakas mag-fall. Actually, he's one of the best supports in terms of scaling kasi yung maganda yung disruption. It, he can use the scaling of his opponents against them. So, kung baga, kung baga, pag lumakas yung kalaban mo, lalakas din yung, yung Shadow Demon kasi nagagamit yung disruption. But that will only happen if, mar if kaya mong papalubog, if you will survive long enough to use the disruption against your opponent as well as your ultimate. And again, if nagamit mo actually yung may Regents user like the Necrophos or if you get the Bloodseeker na dati, dati kasi Shadow Demon pinangka-counter yan sa Bloodseeker kasi pwede mong gamitin yung Bloodseeker against him lalo na pag may Regents. Pero pwede namang gamitin yung Shadow Demon yung Necrophos Regents against his opponents right now. Let's see if that will be the case though. Medyo indecisive yung laro natin mga kaibigan in terms of uh, anong gustong gawin itong magkabila ang team natin na gamukong hindi pa nila mag-gage kung ano yung capability ng mga, ng mga kalaban nila rito dahil hindi sila willing to commit sa mga engagement or even the push. Kita mo, hindi nga sila tumatawid halo sa side ng map nung kalaban nila rito. So, yan, medyo nagkakaroon ng space yung mga course to farm up dito. Even though that Prophet is already now sitting at the fourth, oh. fourth spot in terms of overall network and plate mail already up on him. Atos for another catch. At kuta mo kung ano yung nak -cue. He will oh. now try to go for a Shiva's Guard and even a Nocturne Core. Yan yung mubuhin na rito. Uy, pero may nabuhin. Oh, nakahulihan. Ito, TP out mula ang Shadow Demon but the torrent oh, will be there. Pero the ano ang kapalit ng buhay mo? Sapat ba yan para sa isang Shadow Suit Demon? May dumala Super Perry rito pero may rana nag-abol. Arrow will fly, nagtago sa puno, nagpapanggap ka pang puno and you will fall. Wala kang kawala. Wala kang kawala. Nasa papira si Snare. And that is a very good trade in favor of Voyager. That is your support for a position 3. Oh. We run now up so with the BKB. As sulit ang pagkamatay dito ni Shadow Demon. Sulit ang swag with the indeed. And look at this item choice for that doom bringer he will now be able to initiate on the on their uh for their side especially being able to take down yung kanila mga priority target like the necropos or even the bloodseeker yeah. he will now be able to reach them with that dagger pickup yep. na meron siya actually there are a lot of candidates they need to for it to be good at one point, syempre, gusto mo idum dito yung Necrophos or the Bloodseeker. Pwede, pwede, pero pwede mo pa rin i-consider na idum si Kungka dahil Kungka applies the control then for HPC. Same goes with the Disruptor. So, medyo sulit dito yung Doom, all things considered. But, Jakiro actually does have that Midas and that's the reason why he is the fourth now. And may, may that the fifth. Medyo nagpapalita na sila dito ni DP. Well, alam natin na si Jakiro is the offlaner for Voyager. Yun I'll be your player. He's the fourth lead. Okay. So, ano kayang item choice dito ni Jakiro? Can we see? Kanyang gusto mo. So, BKB is up now up for Mirana. Double defensive dito for Mirana. Now we'll just go for MKB. So, it seems. Oh, 
go. Oh, the rapture of Oya Morito. There's that disruption delaying the inevitable. But here comes the doom bringer. Mga kaibigan, there's that moonlight shadow BKB, the BKB being pop, pero he is forced to use the BKB. So he doesn't have BKB for oh the next no. couple of seconds. And he might get caught dito. Arrow will fly. Hindi siya aabutan dito. And that will just be a uh, single pickup para dito sa side ng HTE, HTC. The moonlight shadow also committed. And Voyager, baka hindi nga si Lord dito malag dito. But they forced out the BKB. HTZ though, they have a lot of uh, objectives that they can take right now. As you see what they're taking right now. While Voyager, since they are at a man disadvantage, mga hindi sila putulak muna ngayon. Oh, so wala sila ang gagawin ngayon sa mga nangyayari dito. Since sabi mo nga, they are down by a man at uh, mabubuhay in just a couple of seconds dito. Tignan natin kung ano magiging plano nila dito. Arrow will fly, pero it will be very late. And they will be able to get the Aegis advantage is Team HTC. No, Aegis advantage So medyo magiging mas aggressive sila rito. Kasi aggressive na yung play nila kanina. Pero ngayon may Aegis sila, medyo mababawasan yung takot nila rito sa side ng Voyager dahil meron silang uh, ages and advantage. A very close fight for both of these teams but in terms of objectives the advantage is on the side of HTC. Big misplay there from the Bloodseeker. Ang gawa niya. <laughs> well, uh, basta nakita na ng mga audience natin yan. Yeah, Mamaya ko na lang kukwento. <laughs> but, uh, uh, he will show himself here the mid lane. Wait, pero this is a very interesting play coming in from the side of HTC. They are oh making no. a feel like they have already do so. Uh, there's that uh, X mark into the group. Reaper side will connect, but it won't be able to take down the Doom. Uh, Doom, he will, but he, the Doom will still go down. Another very good uh, pickup from the side of HTC. Dito sa laro natin na to. Yeah, that's support, but that's still a playmaker para sa Voyager. And once a Voyager, the Doom is down. They really don't want to team fight dead. So 30 seconds bought by HTC. Pero sabi dito ng Voyager, we will just farm out. Blood lang dito. Torn completed on your nature's profit. So another very good item pick up from the side of HTC. Nature's profit will now be able to isolate yung mga target, especially those target na wala namang BKB. Eh, like the Jakiro, mm -hmm. the BP, the, the Disruptor. Kaya niyang ulihin lahat yung mga yan. That's true. 35 minutes, 28 to 20. A little bit of net worth lead then para sa HTC ngayon. No? Very intense. Very close fight pa rin. I would still think... Natin, hindi na rin maintindihan ng game. Kasi <laughs> na pa talagang laman dito. Oh. Ang bulubundukin. There you go. Item check tayo dito. It's... Uh, as you can see right now, double Rod of Atos on the side of Voyager. One up on Memento Mori. One up for Jorge Salcedo. Jorge Salcedo. Grabe. Ang panghala ng mga Jorge. politiko yung mga... <laughs> Parang ano eh, no? parang mga action star din. Oh. Uh, at sa matala sa baba, you can see yung mga item choice din ng mga, kita kita nyo naman mga action. Hindi na namin na-explain dahil baka lang marinig ng mga troba peeps natin. Na okay, 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 okay. Ayan nyo na yan. Yan. At, so just waiting for for any of those three teams uh, to make a move. Aegis is still up though for the Bloodseeker. So I think uh, yung Voyager dito medyo conservative sila in their approach dahil because uh, of this Aegis advantage that HTC have so they are just waiting for that Aegis timer to expire before they go for an ex uh, for an offensive and interestingly Mirana now opting to go for an MKB as his next item choice maybe to negate the evasion chance na binibigay ng uh, Radiance na meron yung Neververse Chiba's yep. Guard already completed on your Death Prophet as well so meron na sila pang hinder ng movements oh, dito Bloodseeker well, does, doesn't have Stun though, so hindi niya makapag-stop ng TP out mula sa Voyager. Gonna be a blink from the Jakiro then dito. And Aegis will uh, soon expire, as I, I think so. 28 to 20, Voyager did a decent job weathering the storm. Because, uh, as much as the Aegis is concerned. And HTC, mga hindi sila po pwersa din naman ng Clash dito. Even though they have that Aegis as their, uh, well, as their advantage. 2k gold lead para dito sa side, sa side ng HTC make that a 1k gold lead pero eto na mag magkakaroon na ng uh, asunto pero ang ganda naman ng item pick up dito for that blood seeker this might catch Voyager off guard they might not be expecting this item pick up yes. especially uh, since uh, mag expire na yung uh, ages of the immortal dito and uh, blood seeker is the uh, high priority target on the side of uh, HTC oh, at HTC. this point. Voyager, yeah. 
it, something already could really be a surprise because again the doom he wants to initiate and if he initiates badly he might waste that doom of his uh, so there's gonna be a push from HP he's not ready to ride up 8 Astros to disrupt and they might use this Ice Pad oh. Connect Bar Arrow Bar will fly but it won't hit there's that silence mga kaibigan the Aegis is still up Doombringer is here they might try to get this kill on the Bloodseeker and they will be able to pop that Aegis here comes the setup there's that Ice Pad that dual bread up oh, but BKB is still up on the Bloodseeker and of course the support of his team is there he, he will be able to walk away into safety while in the bottom lane it's the nature's prophet doing what he does best which is the split push here is that moonlight shadow that ay nako delikado siya dito where's the close up follow up pero blood, blood seeker bombing his BKB he will be able to take down that jump walang hero detection. pero walang detection sila rito and easy free kicks mga kaibigan here comes the blood right and the close silence the, the silence the bringer is here there will he be well a target and here comes the Mirana now wrecking havoc inside they will be able to punish that nature's prophet there is the chase there is that necropos Necropos, the, the, oh, the 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 oh my god necropos is still alive but the rod of Atos is there oh like a boy Wait, the ghost round. Ghost Wait, round. The ghost monster kill for the mirana here is the silence the lang dito. spirit side but they will be able to take this down yes, necropos is down the necropos is down the seeker the arrow the banner wala kang kawala huli ka balbon wala kang BKB and this might be a team wipe oh the defeat the slow the disruption but uh, he got like and now they want more they 4 for 2 snappy turtle holy the fuse snappy turtle where are you going TP silent TP out papalubugin ka boy pwede ba yun TP sa muka walang ganon sir but hi 5 for 2 5 three. for 2 exchange actually 5 for 2 and how <laughs> the mighty have fallen Five back coming from that Negropos. Parang buyback na ano yun. Buyback ni Gulat. Wala oh. naman pa, oh, pa atin yung buyback na yun. Pero ginawa niya economic damage done as well on the side of HTC Totoyan. and Voyager. They will be able to claim a tier 3 tower onto the mid lane and that will open up Grabe. the pickings for the shrines, for the outer shrines, the outer structure. They might be denied the Uy. access into Roshan and even the ancient bottom part yep. of their jungle. At Gwedi, ang nangyari dito, yung 22k net worth ng Bloodseeker, parang wala lang kasi wala silang detection. Walang mahampas yung Bloodseeker doon oh, kaya ito oh. nag-BKB siya. Isipin mo, nag-rapture, ang walang detection. Oo. Oh, eh, Kumbaga sa, pumunta ka sa gera, wala kang radar, oh. wala kang spotter, nagtago yung mga kalaban, anong ginawa mo, nagtatakbo kayo. Nagtatakbo kayo. Isipin mo yung napakayaman na nature's prophet, nasa gitna na siya ng gera, wala pa siyang alam-alam. Ginamit nila yung dust nila primarily on Nakita the Nakita na lang niya yung Jack buhay Hero niya eh. na matay na siya eh. Oh, tapos na late na yung paglalit. Tapos yung huling silence na Apat yung nakuli ng silence. Na iwan yung nature's profit sa pag, gitna. Nakakalungkot yan. Pag uwi mo ng Iloilo, paano kayo natalo? Para pare, oh. wala kami yung detection. detection. Talo kami ng mga hindi namin nakikita ang kalaban. Napakaun at napaka-sustainable na yung post. Pero yung nahabol pa rin siya dito. Nakaroon ng laban dito. Nakupo, tinamakan na lang yung deck. Nahuli si Disruptor. No, bye bye. Para sa Disruptor dito. Ginamit, ginamit na siya ng puwersa. At slowly but surely, this is now looking like a Voyager's game. 6k gold read already. Mirana now up with an MKB. And this is looking pretty grim for HTC. Let's see. HTC. Technically, kaya pa nila lumapan dito. They catch the Jakiro once again, but the Yules will be there. The Pana! Kumunin ka dito. Tinamaan na naman ang Pana! Oh my God, Captain Kuka, what are you doing? You go down to support without buyback. Brother Brother Fatos, Fatos. They will be able to catch the Bloodseeker. Will he pop up that BKB? There's that BKB. Pero kinulog ng tropa. Hindi siya makapalo rito. Mirana, pumasok na sa kita. There's that BKB. Takbo na, sir. Here comes the Ice Pot. BKB takbo para sa dalawang hero. Here comes the Exorcism. They might be able to close this game. No BKB now on the side of HTC still two man down and here comes Voyager they want to end this game right here right now in front of their fans in front of their friends this and is the pride of Cebu doing what they do best no more BKB available the will be popped Road of Atos doble dito walang parang mga walang, defense parang walang item yung Bloodseeker nanonood lang siya oh. Static Storm may mapato lang pero wala na silang synergy double, double yield scepter Mirana throwing for the chase and he goes under the cover of that Glimmer Cape but the damage has been done the lane will be open no more racks onto the mid lane and they will immediately deep it themselves into safety without any answer for this Mamba HTC out Mamba out ah napatay pa si Purion Grabe. Patay tayo dyan si Purion mga kaibigan si Purion. 
this is looking to be bad for HTC. Napaka-intense na ba? Close of fight natin dito. Medyo nag-crumble but... sila under nag pressure. Ano naman dito. Siguro, yun nga, yung jitters din ng pagtayo nila dito. Maybe no, that kicks in already. Kasi napaka-ganda na simula dito for HTC. It looked very promising for them. But all Voyager had to do was to farm out, avoid fights muna, and then when they're ready, lumaban na sila doon. Uh, and oh. sobrang crucial din ng pagkakatalo nga naman sa previous fight. Nung nag-5-4-2 trade ko saan yung HTC, wala silang detection. And I wonder why they haven't picked up the gem just yet. Kasi sobrang kailangan din nila yung gem dito. They don't, yeah, they don't have a gem. Oh man! Can. Oh man, no, they're up against um, 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 a hey, MLS. Ala alam nilang yung masyadong maganda yung uh, yung gem of true side dito. I mean, mapakalaking tulong sa kanilang boss. Especially if it's up on the hand of the Bloodseeker. Or even the Kuka. Pero yung nahabol na rito. Tignan natin dito. Ice There's that Icepad. Macrofire. Four stop out. Mambalicious. Aegis will be taken. And it will be the Death Prophet to carry the Aegis of the Immortal. And this is looking like a push. Another push from the side of Voyager. As they head towards the top lane, they want to apply pressure. The Shrine being assaulted as well. And no more outer structure for the side of HTC. 28 to 30 is the scoreline. But this is a 10k gold lead going in favor of the Cebuana squad. Voyager. Ay, nako nakakita pa ng mga pakaganda bruta sa mabubuta. Oh, Inonyatan, kotong digulat. Wala ka, wala silang necropos. Si necropos naglalakad. Alay lakad siya mga kaibigan. Push natin ito, bes. Wala siya. Ala, layo na nilalakad niya. Oh my God. Namamasyal. Oh, Namamasyal dito pa yung Nature's Prophet actually. Forcing out TPs of the Doom. Oh, 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 oh. Lincoln. Nag-abol. Oh, oh. Mamba, mamba. Mamba, oh. Mamba out, mamba out. Teka lang. Eh, mayday, mayday. Tamang ambahan lang. Nakakaambahan din. Uy, reward daw. Easy, reward easy gold. Easy 100. Illusions being made as well. Oh, pero lalaban naman kasi talaga sila dito. Oy, Oy di na ba ba? Naku po! Naku po! Oy, taka! Di na ba ba? Naka ice pan! Tatlo! Di na ba na ba ako rupan? Nagkandap legend engine na! Wala siya pipe kasi nagpipe siya kanina! Oh my God! Pressure everywhere! Oy, pero teka lang, teka lang! Sabi ni Blood Seeker, lalaban ako dito eh! Mirada ka pala! Oy, keso! Kinesuhan! Oh my God! Nasahay ko, minente siya! Pinalubog! Pinalubog! Minicro, micro, micro, batik! Oh my! Oh my gulay! Bloodseeker will be able to take down one, but he will go down as well. There's the... He do have the buyback, oh. pero nauubos na sila rito. Three Slowly down. but surely, they are crumbling. There's another buyback, pero no buyback on two, two, the two other heroes on their side. And Doombringer is here. They want to go for more. Wala siya oh, BKB, no. pero nakipagsabakan siya. Nakipagsabakan si Bloodseeker dito. Na doom sa mukha! Oh my God, takbuhan na siya rito. will be popped. But I think that's a sacrificial yeah, na lang Aegis dito. Aegis pa siya rito eh. Delikado yung mga teammates siya rito, pero ang ganda naman ng bawas dito. Makakapatay pa sila ng Doom. Medyo nagkakaroon ng miscalculation on the side of Voyager and they will lose too as well. Arrow will fly. May tatamaan ba? Malako Merishal. Walang tatamaan pero Rada Batas is there. Tignan natin. Mirana is now here. We will now be able to deal damage on the structures. At ito. Oh, na Blood Torch ha. Pero Manma will immediately Nahuling alang kayo spot dito. Damage so much from the Spirit Cyber as well. Shoot sa mga mga kaibigan. Nakikipag-jutukan si Blood Seeker dito. Pero makakapatay siya ng isa. Will he be able to take down more? Pero delikado rito. Ito pa rin na Courier. Ice Spot is there. Oy, narada pa. Tapos pa minamicro siya. Dumating yung Gizzo. Ginawang manok. Pero lalaban naman ako. Susuntukin kita. Susuntukin kita. Akin na buhay mo. Double kill. Isa na lang ang buhay dito. Clip back. Baka makakaubo sila. Static Storm. Oh my God. Makakapatay pa pa sila rito. Yun si Scepter muna pang patagal pero here comes the torrent na go ship at mukhang mahuubo sila rito triple kill for proud 3k my goodness HTC I think it was more about the Voyager's overextension dito and like talagang nag-overextend sila kala nilang hinayan nila dito sobrang nakipaglaban sa kapit sa patalim sobra yung Voyager dito they thought that their lead was really good they thought that kaya-kaya nilang durugin yung HTC dito but only one buyback from the Bloodseeker at ang main difference dito Kuya D yung Bloodseeker ngayon nakakahampas na kanina hindi nakakahampas yung Bloodseeker kasi ano nalatalo ano na bang item ni Bloodseeker na bakit siya? naging shipakyaw na yan nagiging oh. boxing hero na nakadeso naman pala deso SNY Defusal Blade Level 2 BKB and Linkin Spear offensive defensive item completed on the Bloodseeker but the problem is pag napitas ang Bloodseeker dito he won't have his buyback so he won't be able to do the same damage here he has done a couple of uh, seconds ago. Pero ito, they, they want to go for a GG push dito. They want to force the buyback on the side of Voyager. And they are fast approaching the high ground. They want to take this tier 3 tower onto the top lane at least to even up the equilibrium in terms of lane. Kunka already applying pressure into the uh, top lane. Pero 
Ako mabubuhay na rito. Ako, naku po, nilabanan siya ng mga ilusyon niya. Nasasaktan siya sa mga ilusyon niya. Masakit yan, pinapatay ka na sarili mong ilusyon. Masakit yan, bestie ko. Nakakabulan. Paano? Mukhang butik mo tumama. Gumilid lang, butik ng mahagip sa tagiliran. Butik na tamahan yung kitty. Pero ito, tapo yan ang tropa. Ang problema kayo ni Bladziger, hindi siya makakatulog. Dahil wala siya buhay, nagkakaupo siya na lang lahi. Mamamatay si Kuka. Si Captain Coco may nagpapagap na puno rito. Naku, nahuli. Huli ka palpon. Patay ang negro po. Wala siya buyback pero Nature's Prophet nagpapagap na puno. Napalubog siya rito. Mukhang mahuli na rin siya rito. BKB will be used. Pero makakatakas mo siya. Makakatakas nga siya. And he will survive. My goodness. Dalawa patay dito sa HTC. Again, overextension. But look at just the damage mula dun sa disruption dito. Nakita mo yung decision din ng Voyager. Kinancel yung Lincoln gamit yung Doom. Tapos ginamit lang dito ni Shadow Demon yung kanyang disruption. So again, counter that Bloodseeker. Sobrang all display the book. Counter the Bloodseeker. Use the disruption coming out from the Shadow Demon. Nasaktan siya sa sarili niya. Nasaktan siya sa sarili niya. Kung baga nakipag-shadow boxing siya sa salamin. May nakay nangyari. At yung Necrophose was left alone. Dahil wala ka namang pang, wala nang fighting chance yung HG dito dahil masyado nang low yung Bloodseeker. He cannot overextend. And only, ang nawala lang sa Voyager is just the tier 3. Oh my God, may nahuli pa si Disruptor dito. Delegado to. There's the blood right. Try to save him. Nagtago siya rito. Under the cover. Pero here comes the macro bar. And here comes the Doom Bringer with the Infernal Blade. He will be able to use his ultimate. Pero delegado siya rito. Mamamatay pa yung Nature's Prophet. Delegado na sila rito. Nag-upo sa dinan lahi. Three, three heroes down on the count. There's that force buyback on the Nature's Prophet. At least he will try to teleport on the other side of the map. At least to apply pressure. Pero the Necropos is still down. He will be up in four seconds though. Here comes the Ice Pod connecting on the Bloodseeker dito. Delicado siya dito. Kinabawang nga siya sa buka. Here comes the Ghost Ship connecting pero Bloodseeker not being able to do so much dito. Here comes the BKB being popped. Gusto niya makipagsuntukan dito pero the Necropos is now here. Pero ang ganda naman dito. Oh my God! Pinapatay siya. Kinakain siya ng mga bulto. Bloodseeker will fall. Will he fall? Yes, he will. No buyback. Necropos popping the shroud. The Ice Pod connecting and this might Be the game of oh, triple, triple kill for the Meto Mori. Oh my God! No buyback on four heroes, and that might be the game, Super the kingy. series, and Voyager. They will secure themselves a spot into the grand finals later on this evening. Grabe One ganun lang. versus five, and this is just Voyager. Tatrabawa lang dito using the disruption as well. They fight the Konga. It is Konga. Will be that. And I don't connect as well. GG has been called. HTC, as valiant as they were, they will fall against Voyager. And Voyager. And the Bride of Cebu will prevail. They will secure themselves a spot into the grand finals. Team Voyager taking the series 2 0.